In the fast-paced world of commercial aviation, dreaming up future aircraft concepts is pretty much a daily habit. Whether you're an aviation geek or a seasoned industry analyst, one of the more captivating what-ifs making the rounds in recent years is the idea of an Airbus A390 or A400 more on the name in a moment, however. A potential new wide-body aircraft that, if it ever comes to life, could build on the legacy of the A350 and maybe even aim to replace what the A380 left behind. In this video, we're diving deep into what an A390 or A400 could be, what would drive Airbus to develop it, and how it might stack up against current and next-gen wide bodies. Now, to be clear right from the start, Airbus has not officially announced anything called the A390. There's no paperwork, no test aircraft, no executive interview suggesting such a plane is in development. But just thinking about the possibilities reveals a lot about where long-haul aviation could be heading. And again, just so it's crystal clear, there is no confirmed Airbus A390 in the works right now. Still, the idea isn't far-fetched within Airbus's model naming conventions. After the A380 and A350, it feels natural that an A390 or A400 could be next as it tends to be an even number followed by an odd. But Airbus hasn't always followed a strict number sequence. There's no A360 or A370, for example. Instead, they focused on evolving existing platforms like the A320 and A330 families through their NEO, new engine option, updates. Airbus is also investing in clean sheet designs for the future, like its hydrogen-powered Zero-E concept aircraft, though those haven't been given specific model names yet. With the A380 program having officially ended in 2021, some believe Airbus could eventually re-enter the ultra-high capacity market but with a more efficient and market-friendly offering. As global air travel picks up again and major hubs get more congested, the timing might make sense. But launching a brand new wide-body aircraft is no small decision. It involves a mix of engineering complexity, business risk, and strategic foresight. The biggest factor by far is market demand. Do airlines actually want another large aircraft? The A380's downfall taught Airbus that size alone doesn't guarantee success. Unless you're Emirates or another major global carrier, most airlines today are leaning toward twin-engine wide bodies that offer long range and lower costs. That's one reason the A350 and Boeing's 777X have found more traction than the A380 ever did. Cost is another major concern. Developing a new aircraft like an A390 or A400 could run Airbus a bill of $15 billion or more. To justify that, they'd need to project long-term demand for at least 400 aircraft. See where the name might come from now, just to break even on R&D and production. And that projection has to hold up over decades. Environmental pressure is also reshaping every aircraft development plan. Any future aircraft, especially something the size of an A390A400, would need next-gen engines, lightweight composites, and highly efficient aerodynamics. Meeting stricter emissions standards is no longer optional. And because better fuel efficiency often goes hand-in-hand -hand with fewer emissions, these improvements are a win-win for both airlines and the planet. By the mid-2030s, we'll start seeing large retirements across the A330 and early 777 fleets. That could open the door for a new aircraft, if Airbus can offer significantly improved performance and maybe even hybrid or hydrogen power options. But first, we need to look at what Airbus is already focused on. Right now, Airbus is doubling down on its A320neo and A350 lines. They've also launched the Zero-E program, to build the world's first zero-emission commercial aircraft by 2035. This initiative includes a range of concepts, like turboprops, turbofans, and even blended wing bodies. While none of these are wide bodies per se, they show where Airbus is putting its R&D money for the foreseeable future, which could delay a wide body like the A390 or A400. On the A350 front, 
Airbus has been rolling out steady upgrades like higher maximum takeoff weights and cabin flexibility improvements. These tweaks are meant to keep the A350 family relevant into the 2030s and beyond. That makes the A390 feel more like a next decade idea, if it ever happens at all. When launching any new aircraft, there are a few key boxes that must be ticked. Strong airline demand, major gains in fuel efficiency, compatibility with current airport infrastructure and compliance with environmental rules. For now, Airbus seems more focused on improving the A350 and preparing for the next generation narrow body that could follow the A320neo. Interestingly, Airbus CEO Guillaume Fauri offered some clarity at the 2023 Paris Air Show. He confirmed that Airbus is aiming for the second half of the 2030s to roll out a brand new narrow body aircraft to succeed the A320neo. It may run on conventional jet fuel or be built around hydrogen power, depending on how the tech evolves. That timing aligns closely with Airbus's Zero E goals, underscoring the company's commitment to a greener future. As for the A390 or A400, there's been no official mention from Airbus executives. But rumors persist. A few insiders have hinted that something could be announced later this year. Though to be honest, we're not holding our breath. If Airbus ever did greenlight an A400, it would most likely be a large twin-engine jet, offering A380-like capacity, but with A350 level efficiency. Think of something that would directly compete with the 777-9 or even go a step further. And here's where it gets interesting. Depending on when Airbus might pursue such a jet, the A400 could even become the first wide body built with hydrogen propulsion in mind. That would be a huge leap. Features like dual fuel capability, SAF and hydrogen, ultra-low maintenance engines, and smarter digital systems for pilots and fuel planning could all be on the table. Cabin design might also see big changes with modular seating, improved humidity and air quality, and lower noise levels. Bottom line, if Airbus ever goes ahead with a clean sheet wide body, it would have to tick three big boxes, efficiency, passenger appeal, and sustainability. And it would need to do all of that better than anything flying today. If the airlines show strong demand, Airbus might just take the plunge. But even with a compelling design in hand, it's still a risky move. Launching a brand new aircraft involves huge upfront costs and takes over a decade to bring to market. If passenger trends shift, say, toward more point-to-point -point travel using smaller, more frequent flights, then the whole business case for something as big as an A390 could evaporate. And let's not forget the tech challenges. If Airbus wants to build a plane around hydrogen or sustainable aviation fuel, it might be better to wait until the 2040 AS, when those technologies are more mature. Jumping too soon could lock them into compromises. So, unless Airbus sees some kind of breakthrough, whether it's technological, environmental or economic, the A400 concept may stay just that. A concept. For now, Airbus is all in on the A320neo, A330neo, and A350 families, with its longer-term bets placed on sustainability and hydrogen through the Zero E and SAF-ready platforms. Still, things can change fast. As older aircraft retire and demand for long-haul travel rebounds, there could eventually be space for a new, high-capacity wide body. If Airbus feels confident that the market is there, the technology is ready, and the environmental regulations can be met, we just might see the A390 or A400 move from fantasy to flight deck. But what do you think? Will the A400 be Airbus's next big leap, or will it be called A390? And if so, when do you think they'll make it official?